on. Uh, I'm just getting around to doing a very requested video uh, in my live stream. Many times people have requested it. Uh, other times people have asked me on Twitter to do it. I'm finally getting around to doing it. Uh, this in my hand has something to do with it. It is how to set up dual displays on Mac OS X or just with any Mac pretty much. Um, so yeah, but without further ado, let's just get on to it. So things you'll need. First of all, there's my iMac and all its glory set up right there. Um, what you're going to need is, if I can turn my iMac, and I think I'm only, only going to be able to turn it that much, but that's fine. So as you can see on my iMac, these are all the ports, and um, that port right there, very blurry right now. Hopefully my camera will be able to focus on it. That port right there on the very end is what Apple calls the mini DVI port. So what you're going to need for this, uh, if you plan to use a regular Dell monitor or something like that, or Acer, whatever monitor, pretty much any monitor, you're going to need this thing. It's about $20 at Apple, maybe $6 on eBay, $10. Um, it's a mini DVI to DVI. And what this is going to do is this is going to plug right in there. Yep, simple as that. And then you want to plug the DVI port into here. So obviously you need a DVI port. One should have come with the monitor you purchased. If not there, my guess would be around $5, but one should come with the monitor you purchased. You should just plug one side right in there. And uh, while I'm doing this, screw it in. While I'm doing this, I just want to tell you guys that I already have it set up in System Preferences um, for Landscape Mode instead of regular, or Portrait Mode instead of regular Landscape Mode. Um, so that's what it's going to do for me automatically, but it won't just do that automatically for you. You'll have to set it. Um, and also, most people don't like that. I just prefer it because... I already have a 20 inch display and I don't really need another landscape one. Portrait helps me view my tweets and all that. So, and my items and my uh, iTunes, so I love it in Portrait. So I'm going to grab my 20 inch Dell monitor. By the way, I love this monitor. Got it for my birthday a year and a half ago. It is. A lot of people have asked me the model number, so if I can get the camera to focus. E207WFPC is the model number. This is where the stand goes, but since I use it in landscape mode, I took off the stand. Very easy to take off the stand. You just press that button in and pop off the stand. So now what I'm going to do is connect, if my camera will move, I must have tightened it too much, the tripod. So what I'm going to do is first connect the DVI port. Just let me check to see if you guys can see that. Um, yep, you can. So I'm going to connect my DVI port right in there, screw that in. I will zoom in for you. Uh, sorry that this video is kind of slow. I'm testing out my other camera, seeing how it does for quality. Uh, I might not even get this video up, but obviously if you're watching it, it did get up. But, I don't know. Comment, by the way, down below on the quality. If you like it better than the uh, external camera I usually use. So then I'm going to plug in the AC. Very simple. And 
and I will turn the monitor. So it's automatically going to have it set up the way I set it up because that's just how I set it up, obviously. Um, and it remembers that. So my background is, yeah. Oh, whoops, I uh, turned it the wrong way. Gotta turn it this way. So I turned it on. Or power came out, my bad. So now dual displays is set up. And this video is a lot longer than I probably expected it to be. But yeah, after that annoyingness, dual displays is set up on my Mac. And uh, as you guys can see, I can drag stuff from one, one to the other. Very simple. Um, to tweak these settings, you go to System Preferences. Uh, then you go up to Displays. And then basically what you can do is, one pops up on each, you can set the resolution, color, everything like that, and then on the main one, you can also set up the arrangement. So you can move it up or down depending on where they are in relation to each other so that if you scroll your mouse like right over here it pretty much goes exactly by the way since I have Twitter open shout out to Ian uh, James Chris Perillo Meek Augustine and Video Guy Man 7 pretty cool and so yep yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed this long overdue video uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like the content, and be sure to request because, I don't know, I don't have that many ideas and requests I will always take. Also, this kind of looks pretty cool, just this like, picture of my computer. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash 95 Link is in the description. Thank you for watching.